Hello everyone, my name is as always Marcin and today I'm going to show you my camera raw settings for landscape and car editing. As you can see, I start with Photoshop, I always start with Photoshop, but today of course, as I said about camera raw, we go into work in something separate. The things which is something separate, we go into work only in camera raw. At first to open image in camera raw, let's click file, browse in bridge, to find our image we want to edit. When you find your image, click on this image. As you can see on the right side, you can have all preview of our image. Then click right and open in camera. So that's my basic image in camera. And now it's time for simple editing. I'm going to show you how to turn this image in really awesome looking image. You can use this method, you can use similar settings, similar preferences to edit landscape images on your own car images. Usually where I, when I edit landscapes and cars, I used to add a little bit of temperature. Let's say it's around plus 15 as well as about tint, I prefer to add some magenta. You can add some green color, but I don't think the green color works really natural with images. So I prefer to add a little bit of magenta similar around 15. I'm going to skip exposure. And the next thing I'm going to use is contrast. I always love to increase a little bit contrast on the image. Then take down some shadows to make it a little bit more dramatic and bring up some lights, some whites. I'm going to skip blacks as it's not really necessary and let's work a little bit with clarity. Clarity going to give you to this image really, really beautiful kind of HDR effect and it works really great with every kind of landscape. Take a look. I'm going to bring up clarity nearly to plus 40. I don't want to add too much. So maybe around plus 35 will be kind of universal for most of the images. As well as I'm going to take down a little bit of vibrance, not too much and bring up some saturation to add nice saturated, but natural color. After this, we can skip this tone curve. However, sometimes it's really good to work a little bit with lights to add some highlights or lights to add some darks. It depends on you, which kind of image you have. If you don't have too many contrast, it's good to add some highlights or darks. I'm going to add just a little bit highlights into this image. I think in this kind of image, sharpening is not necessary as I already add some details, which can easily replace any plugin when we edit in camera, we can add some really nice details. But to show you, I'm going to sharpen this image a little bit. Let's zoom this because maybe we cannot see very well now our sharpening, just a little bit sharpen. And that's it. But actually, we have to be really careful with sharpening to not add too much noise and make this picture noisy. After this, I'm going to finish my editing with split toning. As you can see, split toning always is highlights and shadows. So let's work with highlights a little bit. For highlights, I'm going to choose this yellow color and let's add some saturation. Of course, I have to zoom it down once again to show you this. As you can see, I add some nice yellow color, not too much because it won't look too natural when we add too much this yellow color. We can add a little bit more. We can add a little bit more yellow color using balance if it's not enough for us or take down a little bit if the yellow color will be too strong. I'm going to keep this on zero to make this as I started 
so I can choose the saturation over here. And about shadows, I'm going to bring up shadows into color brew and add saturation a little bit, maybe around 20 the same as for highlights. As you can see, we got this really nice, not cold, kind of warm and dramatic image. So that's my basic camera raw settings for landscapes and car images. After this, we can hit done. So our image will be already done and saved or open image in Photoshop. We can open this image, of course, as a smart object, but it's not necessary in this case. I'm going to show you just this simple editing. I'm going to open this image in Photoshop right now. And after this, I'm going to open a copy of this image and show you the difference. So that's how this image looked before my editing. And that's the result after this simple editing only in camera. You have to say it's really nice effect with just a little bit of effort. Thank you for watching and see you soon in the next tutorial.